Hello, I'm Roger EUC, and today I am going to assist Brian Dillard from San Diego with his master battery that is uh, throwing out some sort of error and giving him issues as far as charging goes. And I am being assisted today by my two friends, Joy and Celeste, also coming from, I think, San Diego. It could be more specific, I don't know. But um, what I'm gonna be doing is opening this up, removing the BMS, because the BMS will screw up my readings as far as checking the health of the batteries. I have backup BMSs if uh, the cells prove to be acceptable, and I will swap in the new BMS. Uh, if the problem is the cells, then, um, I don't know, Brian can just go Pound sand? No, well, we'll, we'll take to be good and get the replacement battery. All right. I have to be honest. You've got the latest version. Oh, I do? Yeah, version two. So yeah. these packs are the uh, 67 volt packs. The old 33.6 volt packs would have these nickel strips like evaporate. I've actually had my wheel fail um, because of that. But on here, you can see they get hot enough to go through the shrink wrap, but they don't look um, corroded, oxidized, or anything weird. It still looks safe. Just uh, if it's creating that much heat, they probably should have used thicker nickel strips. Okay, so we have uh, made the battery naked. I've taken my multimeter and checked each cell group, and they are all at 4.08 volts. Um, then I asked Joy, are you sure he gave you the right battery? This doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with this. I also checked the uh, voltage differential from uh, the negative to the signal wire, which is, I think, how you're supposed to do it. Maybe it's positive to the signal wire. But anyway, it was very low. So I'm going to see if I could check the internal resistance of the battery like this, but it almost seems like a waste of time since they're all the same voltage. And here's my handy little internal resistance tester. So that looks like, doo -doo -doo. All right, let's uh, hook up to here. Mm, that doesn't hook up so well, but anyway, then we go here. Yeah, I'll try, wait, I saw, it's just cause there's a layer of crud. So 23 milli ohms. That seems actually correct. It should be about, uh, no, it should be less than that. Anyway, um, I'm going to test them all well in a second. All right, so I can't find any issues with the battery quite yet, but what I am going to do, since we're already all the way in there, is I'm going to remove the, uh, the tabs from the BMS and check the battery again, and then just put on the new BMS. Um, but it seems like everything is pretty good. Oh man, this might take a little bit. My soldering iron is, is struggling here. That's camera shy. Could be. Maybe I should put on one of my robust tips. There we go. Well, this might take a little while. We know, we know. Oh, why don't I take off one of the main leads first? That way we don't have to listen to that. It's a smart BMS. Not really a smart BMS, but it's smart enough to know that I'm effing with it. Anyway, we'll be back in a half hour, 40 minutes. <laughs> okay, so we have removed all of the tabs from the BMS. Um, just a lot of heat in there and then peel them up. Uh, the BMS is still attached to the battery pack with some double-sided tape. And I also want to be careful of these two things, which are uh, temperature sensors. Uh, that are going into the battery. Those little, they're called thermostores. Doo, doo, doo. And it was kind of fun when we started undoing the wires. So the BMS 
will do this really annoying beeping sound under any air condition. So that includes if it's getting too hot, if batteries are too far out of whack from each other, if a cell group gets disconnected, which is what we did. Um, but yeah, any of the air conditions that it's programmed to recognize, it just except for even more annoying than that, and it doesn't stop until you take off like a whole bunch of those things. <laughs> I thought starting at the top would make it happen quicker. I was wrong. Okay, so let's see how easy or hard it is to peel this thing off. Oh, much, much more easy than I thought it would be. ASMR. <laughs> so, if you ask me, I still say this pack is good and this BMS is good, but something's wrong with Brian. <laughs> okay, let's uh, put on the new BMS first. <laughs> Fuck yeah! So this is the real way to check it. So there's 16 connecting points and we are getting so let's start it over. There we go. So there's 10.3 on the first one. Wait, somebody's, I think. Yeah, this is Roger. Hang it up. You talk too slow. Anyway, it's a telegram thing, so it's a guy wanting to buy a charger. Mm. <laughs> All right, so we've got 6.6. I don't know, I think it doesn't like it when I reverse polarity on this thing. Okay. Am I backwards again? No. Okay, that one, that's a little higher, 10.3 ohms. I'm getting a little concerned. Oh, wait. Okay, so. So, there's um, like a thing. So, the red one should always be further to the right to get the reading, I think. Okay, 10.04. That's working, 10.48. Just took my brain a second to figure that out. So the individual cells should be around 20 uh, milliohms resistance. And you get half the resistance when you're doubling them up like this, which is how come the more cells you have in parallel, the more power your pack can put out. Okay, so I'm calling this uh, good enough to start soldering the other BMS onto. That's this guy. So we have to remember to shove the little thermally thingies through the holes. It's always good to do that. Shove it in the hole. You can see they had it glued there. We're not gluing it there. We don't care about thermal stuff. It's not our wheel. It's Brian's wheel. Okay, cut it. Okay, go. She's not a pornographer. I mean, photographer. <laughs> I'm neither. Okay, there we're you're live. <laughs> okay, so um, we are into the um, installing of the replacement BMS now. Um, we're to the point where it is making that annoying beeping sound that uh, we all loved so much the first time around. Ooh, we need that finger. So, I'm letting the audience know. Yeah, it's important. <laughs> uh, I, 
And it gets, gets louder with each additional thing we connect. So 16 of these um, cells, which means 17 connections, and then three wires. And, uh, and then we get to move on to other things from this day. And I just hope that Brian's uh, distribution board's not the problem. That would be weird if it was. All right, we're going to turn it around. It's easier to solder that way. Let's see, I bet this one's going to make a lot of noise. There's probably a proper order to solder all these things in, but like I said, it's not my wheel. And all the people that are like, you shouldn't be touching this stuff with your fingers. <laughs> yeah, uh, shut up. <laughs> I like your use of professional tools. You mean the razor blade? Oh yeah. Yeah. It's uh, in case things don't work out, it makes it easy to end everything. <laughs> Generally in the bathtub. Why is that? So dark, so quick. It is time to wrap the battery. So I'm going to take some of my shrink wrap and, uh, and cover kind of the end of the battery and sort of melt it down. And then I'll put the long strip there because I don't have that big, huge, long strip one that they use. So, and this only really works nicely on this end, unfortunately. But anyway, it's not my wheel, who cares? How come Brian couldn't come down? He has to work? I believe he did, yes. yes. I mean, I have to work. Yeah, but how did you make it here then? Alright, so here is the old BMS. This is what the new BMS looks like. Um, so, with this out of the wheel and everything reassembled and heading back to Brian, we will find out uh, pretty soon, because I don't have I don't have Brian's wheel here, but uh, if all is well with the battery as we did it, then uh, he will probably be appreciative and uh, he'll let me know. So maybe I will do another update from him into the video and I'll post the video once I have that. So oh. anyway, um, I don't know what's up with people, people uh, not appreciating my, uh, my jello shots here, but are you happy about jello shots? Yeah. I okay. appreciate you not taking one. Wow. We appreciate you not taking one also. So, <laughs> so this is Joy, who is ripping apart her master because I said I'd help fix it. But part of helping fix it is not tearing it apart. So I'm sitting back and uh, eating jello shots and drinking uh, cocktails as Joy. Well, I, I got a vacuum cleaner. I actually, I invested in one so my cleaning lady won't hide. It's fine, don't worry about it. It's good, don't worry. It's cool. And then whatever I can't handle, I just tell my cleaning lady that uh, we think a skunk or something got in here last night. Works out good. A lot of skunks get in here. I don't know, it's gotta be a hole in the wall. It's weird, totally. So, I'm gonna plug it in again. I left it unplugged for the last hour and still does this blinking thing. It's continuous right now. Oh, never mind. Sometimes it just holds it, sometimes it blinks. And that blinking reflects with this light right here.